Hi guys, it's Melissa Lara. I'm going to show some exercises that you can actually work your bum bum, your, your gluteus, and also your arms at the same time as your core. As you know, I just delivered baby Christian in September 6, 2020. That means this year. Uh, he was six pounds. And when he was born, I was big. <laughs> well, relatively. So when you basically have a baby, you have something called the estesis rectus, where you six pack. So picture your six pack, three of them separating and that makes it hard so if you do crunches or you do abs uh will make it worse will make it like all wrinkly like this shirt so instead of doing that you're supposed to work your core so this muscles come together instead of being separated and actually in another part of my channel i will show you where you can actually test how far your diastasis rectus is so in my case right now it's december and uh basically almost four months you know all four months of the delivery so three months and a half baby christian is three months and a half so since then i've been working on my core working on my this this is that this is rectus so my my abs have become a little bit closer it's still like one and a half finger separated so that's why this exercise really helped because it helps your core bring these muscles together and at the same time you're working your gluteus and at the same time you're working your arms um also if you don't if you remember in part of my other episodes um i fractured my arm so i fall from a heel and these two bones were broken so they had to do a surgery and they put two plates in each side um i fractured my arm in january 6 when actually i got the news that i was pregnant and i delivered in september so i was scared I was scared like hell um, because I, I couldn't move anything. I couldn't grab a pen. Uh, once I started getting better, I was still scared of actually doing weights and lifting things up. But my baby's a big baby <laughs> from six pounds. Now he, I, I feel he's like 20 pounds uh, in his two months checkup, which was his last checkup with the pediatrician. He was basically 13 pounds. So that scared me. So I had to be strong to be able to lift him every time. Right now, he's still eating every four, you know, four hours, two hours, one hour. So it's just picture yourself lifting a 20 pounds baby every hour. And this is just the beginning. He's just three months and a half. So that being said, um, I really recommend doing exercise that will strengthen your core and will make you heal their pectus rectum. And before you go into crunches and squats and planks, that's actually make it worse because like I said, it makes this like all wobbly. Instead, you have to focus on your core, getting those muscles together. Um, then you'll be able to basically do much better, not only for yourself, but for your baby. So this is a very, very short workout. I believe it's like maybe 10, 15 minutes or maybe 10 minutes. And you can use bands. There's different type of bands. This is the one I'm using. And there's different resistance. I'm using almost, uh, I think it's the second stronger one. Um, there's different ones of different colors. Every brand is different. Um, I started with yellow, which was which very light. And then, the, um, then green, then blue. Now I'm doing red. And I think the last one will be black. So when you see me with black, I'm super strong um that being said it depends on what level you are at. so listen to your body it's not about pushing yourself it's about listening to your body and doing what it actually is best for you uh i started working out five weeks after i delivered a baby usually it's recommended six week and if you have cesarean much you have to wait much longer but you also have to ask your doctor your your ob uh, or your doula or your midwife if you are in a stage to be able to start doing exercise and again do baby step it's it, with the diactesis rectus is not how much you lift how much you do it's actually resistance the slower you do it you build more core and you actually build more resistance and your muscles start getting together and it doesn't matter how much you more weight you do which i don't recommend weight until you actually get the diactesis rectus heal which can take you know two three months it all depends on the person 
um, then you can do weights and be patient. So because again, a weight might not be recommended, I think elastic is a very good, um, it's a, a very good chance to, to actually get yourself strong. And again, in my case, I had a fracture arm. I have two plates installed in each bone to put it together. So if I can do it, you can do it. Um, I believe in you. And then as well on yourself, listen to your body again, use the band that you feel the better resistance that work for you and then work your way up as soon as you start getting stronger and that you feel you can do a little bit more. But you know, you're more, the most important thing is your core. So if you're all unbalanced and you feel pain in your core down there in the vagina, my OB gives me shit because she said I have, I'm scared of the word. And yes, it is a vagina. <laughs> so if you're scared because it hurts, then that's a sign that you shouldn't push it too much. Just, you know, be gentle to yourself and to your body. And this actually is a good workout complementary from the other ones that I posted, the ones on the floor, those ones that are Pilates and yoga for diabetes rectus, I strongly recommend that they're really good. And I wouldn't be able to do this if I wouldn't have done those first. So I recommend again, doing the ones from the floor that I posted um, a few weeks ago, and then do this that will actually get into your core your balance, your gluteus, your arm, everything, okay? So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this is actually me demonstrating a workout that I think could really help you as it helped me. Enjoy. Here. You're gonna take your band on your right foot on top of that band and bring it back behind you. If you're holding the two bands with the handles, I have my hand like clasped around that um, handle here. We're gonna go for a squat and then all the way up, Exhale, shoulder press. Inhale down. So, all the way up, I want you activating that core, especially when you are pressing up with that arm. We are very, um, making these movements very slow, but intentional with what we're doing and activating our core. Inhale down. We've got one more on the side. And when I talk about activating our core, I'm not talking about sucking in our belly button to spine. If you guys are new here, then I please make sure to check out my uh, how to activate your core video. I'm gonna put that up here or down below. Make sure you know how to do that so that all these exercises and all the exercises we're doing today are, you're doing it properly. You're doing it intentionally to help you uh, manage and also to heal diastasis. All right, same thing with our bicep curls. Then we exhale, up, inhale down. Make sure your shoulders are rolled down and back. And if you have a long band, you could also be using, placing two feet on your band. But if you're finding that your band is too short and you can't properly do your bicep curl, halfway is okay, you're still working your biceps, but you could also take one leg off. That way you have more room on that band to do your bicep curl. All right, enough talking. Let's bring in that breath. Exhale. Let's go left three. on your 
your band. Band comes around behind you on the left side. Let's go for those 12 squats with press up.
can't lift it any higher than this. And that's okay. On the way. 
I'm just loosening up the grip on my bands, and we're going right into the tricep extensions for 10. guys i hope you enjoy it i will actually put right now one for the floor so you remember to do as well um the next level for the ectasis rectus so remember for the ectasis re rectus try to avoid planks and crunches and uh and also push-ups until it is almost heal, almost there um then focus on the core a lot of pilates Less, you know resistance bands i'll do one pilates that have some variation of crunch but it still works with your core i would suggest that one 